A Bemidji Youth Program is celebrating a new building this week. Bicaps Youth Build moved into its new location on Mill Street Northeast in March. An Ojibwe blessing and prayer as well as speeches from Bicap leaders and government officials highlighted an open house ceremony on Thursday. The Youth Build Program gives at-risk youth new opportunities to succeed through education and construction projects. U.S. Senator Al Franken could not attend the event but did send a letter which backed the importance of what Youth Build does. Education and workforce training cannot use a one-size-fits-all approach. Our state and nation need programs like Youth Build to offer alternatives for young people to get an, get an education and technical skills. Furthermore, we are being faced with labor shortages and skills gaps in the trades across Minnesota and the United States. As such, the work that is being done at Youth Build uh, to give students a strong technical education is incredibly important to meeting our state and nation's workforce needs. Every child, every young adult, every family deserves to have a nice home. We all want to have a nice home and a place to live that we can be proud of. And I think the service that Youth Build provides to make nice homes available for um, uh, low-income families, I think, is really important. The new building was funded by both a USDA grant and donations from the Bemidji community. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.